But his doll was determined not to feel guilty. It wasn't her fault that woman couldn't manage to keep her own son loyal. So they settled into a cozy companionship, long afternoons connecting over tea with an ease between them, although her prayers often kept him up at night. And when he finally woke, of course, she'd laid quite a humongous egg. The baby mom scampered everywhere, dispensing kind advice and leaving tiny casseroles around the house. They were competitive critters who did favors and tricks to prove their love without asking for anything in return and spent all day making squeaks that meant, I don't need anything, so don't worry about me because I don't want to make trouble and you can ignore me if you like because all I want is for you to be happy even though my leg hurts, it's not a big deal and I don't matter because I'm just a mom. If he dared to help them in any way, they'd break into cute little riots. Exterminator. I, I didn't call in one. Exterminator! Dad? What are you doing here? I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm just a regular exterminator, okay? Now, you put a tiny Bible here for bait, they crawl in and snap goes a nagging neck. I don't want to hurt them. Oh, let me just do a couple of them, please. For the first time in his life, Reese understood how to give his father what he truly wanted. Sure, Pop. Right through there. Thank you. He realized these sweet creatures could help so many others not lucky enough to know a mother's touch. This gave him the confidence that he was ready to find a real partner, maybe even get married. <laughs>